Hello everybody, welcome. Wanted to do a aquaponic update. And here we have a top view. And you can see we have mainly in here some mung beans growing. I'm going to turn on these lights here. Just get a better view. Okay, there's a lotus hanging over the edge there, seen better days, the lotus and this collard, I think there's a couple collards, yeah, there's the other collard, a couple lettuce, a couple collards were in here, plants, some mung beans and some other seeds, and man, the mung beans just took over, which is cool. I never grew mung beans, couldn't find nothing on YouTube about it. Googled it, found a little bit of information. It seems like they grow like a lot of your common uh, beans. And I'm growing them for sprouting, what they're usually growing for. Um, I think most of mung beans in this country are grown in like Oklahoma or some state or whatever. I'm going to grow my own. And it'll be organic. Um, with the aquaponics, what I found is that, um, um, especially when you're just getting started, um, if you don't have enough fish, you, you really need to have enough fish to really get the plant growth that you want to have, or you're going to have to supplement some other fertilizers. Now, what I have here is the hydrotone pebbles covered with cocoa coir, and, uh, I also put on, on top some uh, earthworm castings um, and then uh, cover with some more cocoa and also mix in some bone meal and some blood meal and uh, really doing good and uh, as far as uh, a lot of the, the siphons um, with aquaponics, they'll use the bell siphon and whatnot. I just have the hose looped around in like a coil, and the camera can't reach back behind there. But uh, I've seen a lot of people having problems with making the siphons and making these bell siphons, and then you have to make a special filter to go over top of your bell siphon and all that. Uh, you can really just, if you just get a, enough hose to where you create a loop where it goes. Man, I wish I could get the camera behind there to show you. It's so simple. You just create a loop. You know what I'm saying? I'll have to get a better shot. i got to get a better camera. But i got some new lights. And it's been really rainy, cloudy here lately, so it's how plants in this aquaponic system are doing better than the outside plants in the garden. Uh, we got some T5s here, and T10s. T10s are the bigger ones, T5s are the smaller ones. Um, they're more efficient, fluorescent, and use uh, more lumens output, way more lumens, and things shine like the sun, baby. Less energy use. And uh, they are just loving it. So hopefully I'll be getting some mung beans soon. I'm going to be moving this outside once the weather clears up. If the government clears up. Start both of you again. Oh wait. That's my ceiling. There's the aquaponics. And a uh, couple violas I picked up. 60 cents a piece came in little root bound pots on sale because they were all root bound and transplanted them. And those were my sunflower starts. And the idea is um, to grow mung beans and sunflowers, and that way um, I can sprout them, and that way. Uh, 
all peas too. I'm gonna grow a lot of sweet peas. And I, I found my uh, super sugar snaps, so those should be good sprouts. I'm hoping. They had to just grow a lot of uh, beans, peas, sunflower seeds, things that are easy to grow like that. Always had a lot of luck with uh, sunflowers and peas. First time trying mung beans, I got a bunch and uh, other starts for the garden. And uh, just got a couple yards of mushroom compost, so uh, yeah. That's what's uh, growing on here. And again, the idea is to get mung beans, sunflowers, and peas to sprout. And you can store those. And you can be eating fresh vegetables throughout the winter time, is the plan. I'll keep you posted on what happens. Um, I'm making on the video. Um, about what uh, what other else has been going on? Let's just keep this one on the aquaponic update and what's what I'm doing here. And uh, I think that's it for now. Damn. Now I'm forgetting something. I've made this video three times now, so keep it short.